Welcome to Dalian. Look at the size of that. Yeah, the New Year's resolution's been delayed a week. Ah, chok chok I'm falling a little bit in love with Dalian. Wow! I feel really privileged to be here. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been travelling full time since May 2018. Yeah! Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Good morning. So after the festive period, we have woken up here in Dalian and uh, we're super excited today because where we're staying, this is Levent. He and is awesome. He's very kindly yeah. let us stay here, park up here, um, over the festive period and today he's offered to show us around the area yes what are we going to see today uh, most well, of the dalian well, yeah? i would like to show you all of the dalian amazing and, uh, it's quite sunny day it's like yeah. we're lucky with the weather today yes. it's been raining for a few days yes. yeah okay so, let's rock let's and roll then let's yeah go. let's go So Levent's just explaining that actually the first ever hotel in Dalian was actually here and uh, his brother ran it. It was here. You, yes. you, you guys ran the first hotel and where it is now is no more. It's no more. It's no more. It used to be right here opposite these tombs. Imagine ten rooms like this, V yeah. shape. Yeah. Now it's a park. Yeah, it's a park. Wow. Summertime completely full packed oh. here oh. Uh, with this very nice view. <laughs> One of the things Dalian is famous for is the Lycian tombs. You can see them in the hills behind us. Levent was just saying you can actually get a rowing boat to the other side so maybe we'll look at doing that. But absolutely fascinating, carved out of the rock face. And it's got legends and myths yes. behind it. How do they carve that out? I don't know. It's, we've been keep uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Yes. It is a mystery. We will go anyway uh, to the other side. We will walk or uh, drive. Yeah. Uh, then we go up, up on the up on top of the hill. hill. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. This is the ferry. Ah, oh, the ferry to cross. Oh, amazing. We're going to the other side. We're going to the other side now. One thing you'll notice driving around Dalian is that all of the houses are actually really big, detached looking style houses. There's not uh, lots of built up villas. Um, it's got a real different feel to it. So we've come to the end of the road. There's a barrier here with the water in front. Wow, look at this. So we've come to the end. This is where you get the ferry across. This place is a fish farm. Oh, it's a fish farm. So there's two, there's two places to get the ferry across. There's this one um, on the south of the town and then there's another one on the north of the town. And uh, this is the hill that we're going to be walking up. Maybe we'll be on top of On top place. there. Oh, it's going to be amazing views. How picturesque is this? Yeah. It really is stunning. I'm falling a little bit in love with Dalian. It's amazing, isn't it? Here comes the ferry. This is the little ferry. Oh, I think it can only take maybe two cars. Yes. Or oh, one Trudy. One Trudy, look. That's a great little ferry. So 
so the ferry's here we've jumped on the ferry we're hanging around for a couple of minutes to see if somebody else joins us but i noticed something and it doesn't happen very often chris and i were stood in silence <laughs> it doesn't happen often i've got to say but this place is just stunning the water here it's all perfect I, I, I want to live here can we live here can we just live here let's just live here so we've got the fishing boats coming in Opposite. fishing is a huge business here yeah. uh, in dalian in the lake and the, the the river here and there's a fishing boat coming in now with the boxes of fish good night in <laughs> look so they've got lovely blue crabs here look at those they're they're big fresh fish you can't get any fresher than that literally just caught all packaged up there oh it's big <laughs> look at the size of that <laughs> we gotta go <laughs> don't want to miss the ferry So we've driven up onto the hill on the other side and you've got this wonderful view over the Dalian Valley here with the town in the distance there. And uh, we're going to go and see some ruins. What, what are they called? Kaunos Antique City. Ah, the Kaunos yes. ruins. Yes. These buildings are huge. Open, isn't it? And the vent was saying that they've locked these gates. They're securing everything that they've been finding whilst they're digging. Ah, amazing built structures, aren't they? It's hard to imagine what it would have been like, but seeing these enormous big columns here, you can just imagine great big pillars and courtyards. And I was saying maybe this was some kind of Roman bath or sort of a, a, an area where people would come and bathe in, in the heat. Great big archways. Some of them have been blocked up, um, but great big archways. You can see people would have come in and spent some time here so, so long ago. Entry is normally 14 TL, unless you've got a museum card and then it's free. That was a Roman bath, I got it right, woohoo! There's a very useful sign here um, because obviously when you're visiting ruins it's hard to know exactly what you're looking at and as I've said before I don't have the best of imaginations um, so it's very cool because they're pointing over and there's a dome church uh, there's the Roman bath uh, there is a temple terrace so we're gonna go and have a look round now and use your imagination <laughs> Uh, most tourist areas in Turkey have very good and explicit information uh, which is very helpful especially when you're not particularly historical or, or interested in history because it brings it more alive it's nice they've got these uh, walkways placed all around this area because they've got these lovely mosaics on the floor and uh, to allow you to be able to see them they've created this walkway so you can actually come up above and not damage them and yet still have that experience. It's quite high up and I suppose one of the advantages to being this high up is the views. 
and it certainly has some of those. How amazing is that? We've come across a goat. We can hear the bell, so there must be loads of them in this little area down here. Oh, there's more over there. There's a big black one over there, it's gorgeous. Goats, sheep, the best lawn mowers, the most environmentally friendly lawn mowers, and they're just keeping everything lovely and gardened. This whole area is protected and you can see why there are lovely birds on the waters. There's so much nature here. If you listen, you can just hear all the goats and the birds. What a lovely space. I feel really privileged to be here. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, there's a donkey. Oh, look. So I've come down into the middle of the theatre here. Romeo, Romeo! <laughs> so this is the prime location for a performance. Unfortunately, today I only have two people in the audience. You can see <laughs> the size of the stones that this is built out of a huge, good chunks of rock. That's why it's lasted the test of time. You can imagine the performances that were here back in the day. And I just love these olive trees that over the years have sprouted up. Amazingly, this theater seats up to 5,000 people and has a diameter of 75 meters. And it has eight stairways, woohoo! There's this tunnel entrance to the theater. Maybe the entrance is for the important people. Like us. Like us. Yeah, so now we're going to go and walk to the top of the hill. Marianne's excited to do walking. <laughs> But this side, yes, from the mountain, this side in it, yeah, in Iran, is called Chander Lake. Chander Lake. But it's all sul sulfur. Oh, it's sulfur. Oh, yeah, sulfur. It's, it's it warm. smells. Oh, it's warm, like volcanic. It's, yes, it's volcanic and warm now. This lake here. Yeah. This one here. No, no, no the far one. one. The one by the rock. Yeah. yeah. So we're about halfway up, and uh, we parked the car by the side of the road there, just where that truck's coming. And uh, you can see there's uh, about seven donkeys just in front of the truck there. And then we walked, here's the, uh, the ruins here. And we've walked up the hill and we still have a little way to go to the top up there. So we're nearly at the top and you can see brickwork again. I must be honest, I wouldn't want to bring these rocks up this height. No. I think they would have been very fit in those days to be working up here with the, bringing these up. How are you feeling, love? A bit warm. It's a good way to burn off those Christmas calories. Christmas calories. <laughs> a massive thank you to everyone in Dalian who has brought us Christmas cookies and brownies <laughs> and chocolates and everything. We love you guys, but stop feeding us. <laughs> everyone, is, everyone is feeding us. It's so lovely, but stop now. Yeah, the New Year's resolution's been delayed a week. <laughs> Amazing. What a view. And you're not at the top yet, but still good view. You top is on the Top's up by the flagpole. Oh, we still got a way to go yet. <laughs> oh, good. Yay! <laughs> It's funny, this old rock here actually looks like tree bark, but it's stone. It's all the way up there, look. There's loads it's like of it. Got wood grain. Amazing. So we're nearly at the top. Look at this view. Wow. Looking down over the ruins. It's a good walk here if you come up. Let's see 
the view from the top here. Wow! Wow! Wonderful! That's amazing! Look at this view! So here's the Lycian ruins and the river which goes to the lake. The, uh, the hotel is just the other side of here. This is the Dalian town. And then this is where we got the ferry across this morning. And then we drove around and climbed up. But this river goes all the way down to the sea that you can see there. Absolutely amazing views. We were just learning from Levent that um, there's a lot of organic produce here and from up here you can see why. There are crops all the way around and of course they have this fabulous uh, water source. But what you'll see as well as you look around is there are beehives everywhere which is perfect for pollinating these organic crops. Um, what a view and I can't believe how much bigger Dalian is than we expected because when you're walking around town it feels really like villagey and small but it's massive it's a perfect way to see that there's they're not all villas they're all big houses yeah because you can't see any of those sort of villa style buildings can you yeah it's a very unique place isn't it for a holiday destination and we can see why people come back year after year after year not just because Levent is awesome. It's idyllic actually, isn't it? So you can see old ruins here on top of the hill. And this would have been a fortress because from up here, you really get the best view for defense. You'll see any people coming to attack you along before they got here. You can also see ruins of the old wall, uh, the city wall that would have surrounded the city as a, as a defense. So we're looking on this side, the river goes all the way around and you can see barriers across the river. That's to keep the fish in because this river goes up to a lake this way and it's just one big, huge natural fish farm. Um, and fish, as we said, is a really big part of this community. And then looking in the distance, this long stretch here, is the famous beach called Iztuzu. Iztuzu Beach yes. and uh, it's famous for loggerhead turtles. I think it's about five six kilometers long. Um, it's one of the very famous beaches in Turkey and the turtle sanctuary is uh, down this this end of the beach down here. What a wonderful view with the marshlands. It's definitely worth a walk up to the top of this hill for this view. And I can't believe how lucky we are with the weather today. Exactly. Hey? Perfect. It's hot. It is. I'm hot. I sent a memo. I'm actually too hot now. I need to take my top off. <laughs> Don't jump, Levent. I'm not thinking that. <laughs> it's a big drop. The edge literally on this side just goes straight down. What a view. Thank you for bringing us up here. Welcome. Okay, now we're going to go down and see if we can get to the tombs to do some filming. Maybe we'll get the drone up down there. These are the ones we thought were donkeys at the top. And they're cows. And having a little nibble on the olive tree here. Next to the uh, side of the road here, they've got all these beehives. Uh, Levent was saying that uh, there's lots of beehives here. Mainly they get the sap from the pine trees. So uh, the honey would taste so much different. That's so funny. Levent's just helping the cow get some more olive olive branches. <laughs> you got a happy cow. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone will love you for being so nice to the cow. So we've come, we've come down to uh, one of Levent's uh, friends' farms where they've got olives and bees, and they're doing some pruning work here on the olives and uh, looking after them, ready for the next season. Yeah, we learnt from um, our friends in Croatia who have an olive farm that um, at the end of the season they, they create, they cut wood out from the inside of the tree mm. to let the air go through to keep the tree healthy. 
And they've got lots of bees as well. Merhaba. Yeah, for salad. Salad. Ah, herbs. Ah, çok çok güzel. What's it called? A beg, 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 yeah. And uh, eat uh, like that. Like a uh, spinach. Spinach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. super. Spinach. Yes. So it's this plant here uh -huh. related to hibiscus. Mm. We've driven around and we're actually opposite the little park where we started this morning where Levent had his hotel. We're on the other side of the river and just behind me up here are the amazing looking tombs. It's a little bit windy but we, maybe we give it a, a, a go with the drone. We'll yeah, drive down. I think oh, we should, well, uh, right we should do it. Yeah. They're literally right there. It's an amazing sight. Great, we managed to get the drone up, the wind died down, We've got some shots of the uh, the tombs there for you, which are just really fascinating. They remind us a little bit of, you know, the carvings in Petra, uh, places like that. But it's, uh, what time is it? It must be nearly two o'clock. 20 to two. 20 to two, it's time to eat. I'd like to thank Levent for organizing some goats to be around the tombs whilst we were filming. Absolutely. Perfect I timing. I hope the goats came out. I, it was hard to see them with the uh, with the phone when we were flying, but yeah, amazing. And a lovely, got a lovely aerial view of Dalian as well. And we've got perfect timing because we just arrived at the ferry and it's just arriving. Look at that. Very well timed there. There we go. Because fish is so famous in this region, they've got like a little fish mangas here with fish that's caught locally from the river and then they serve it in the restaurant next door. We're going to have a takeout for lunch today. So look at this fish sandwich we got for lunch with some salad, grey mullet, onion, salad, and how do they call it? Ekmek. Yeah. Uh, Balik ekmek. ekmek. Fish, fish sandwich. Beautiful. This looks so good. Mmm. With some onions and some salad. And it's even got pickles inside. Yeah. It's good, right? Wow. Wow. Dalian special. Join us in Dalian on the next episode as we head to the beach, see some turtles, and go on an awesome boat trip.